What's up, guys? Uh, we are under my car today because I finally got my LS1 started. Uh, it's running good now. I went to take it for my first test drive and I threw it in gear and nothing happened. Uh, no reverse, nothing. So I've got a Turbo 400 and my best guess is that I'm a dumbass and I didn't seat the torque converter properly. Uh, so today uh, we're gonna unbolt the torque converter and then I'm just going to measure, measure my flywheel clearance and then just try to see if I can get like another click out of it. See if I can get it to seat a little more. Uh, that I'm just not too sure about. Um, I guess the first thing I gotta do is pull the starter so I can have access to uh, my bolts for anybody who's uh, not too sure how an automatic transmission uh, bolts up. Uh, one second, I'm trying to get... Okay, so we are under the car. Uh, transmission oil pan, bell housing, uh, this donut looking thing right here. Uh, this is your torque converter. This is part of the transmission. Um, it is held to the flywheel. That's this right here that's bolted to your motor. Uh, but this has three bolts that bolt to the flywheel. Uh, so when the engine turns, it turns the flywheel. Since the torque converter is bolted to it, it turns the torque converter. Um, and then after that, it's just a bunch of witchcraft. And who knows, and automatic magic comes out the end. So I need to turn the motor over to turn the flywheel over so I can get access uh, to these bolts. Uh, there's three of them throughout the whole thing. Um, the only way I'm going to get access to it because the head of the bolts is on this back side. Uh, I'm going to have to pull my starter right here and then I'll be able to fit a wrench in here. Taking off the starter, this is how you do it. It's Normally, uh, there should just be two bolts that hold it in. Uh, cables off of this. There's a couple. Alright, All right, so that's a starter removal. There is the uh, other bolt I was telling you about. So I have to spin the motor over until I can get a ratchet in here and loosen this bolt and then we're going to rotate it uh, so right here uh, this is your um, harmonic balancer this bolt uh, screws in your crankshaft so when we turn this we are actually going to turn uh, the entire engine over all right so i'm going to start spinning the motor uh, and then you're going to see it turn. Uh, that's the wrong way that I want to go. Ugh. All right. Want to see something cool? Ooh. Trippy. Weird. By the way, guys, if you guys don't have anything uh, powered by Milwaukee, you definitely should. Uh, I freaking love this thing. This is the game changer. Air tools are a thing of the past. All right. 
right, so we now have one bolt down. This uh, this electric wrench uh, can be used regular style uh, uh, with a ratchet device or now when you're turning it over by the crank you'll notice it get easier in some spots that'll mean you're on uh, the engine well Couldn't get the torque converter to seat anymore, uh, so I'm thinking it's fully seated. Um, either way, if it is and it's not pumping, that means I have a bad uh, oil pump on it. Um, if it's not seated, I'm not going to get it on anymore, uh, at least not without pulling the transmission and really putting some body weight on it. Um, so. Pretty much just means I'm pulling my transmission. Uh, not excited about it. I installed them as a pair, the engine and the transmission from the bottom. I just lifted the car up and set everything on top of it. Uh, the bell housing bolts, they're, they're tucked in there pretty good. Um, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna suck. I might pull my motor just to make it happen. I pull them out as a pair. I guess one step forward, two steps back. 